what's happening guys hope you're having a great weekend I know that I am today we're gonna talk more about diodes as we made our little uh, voltage probe in the last video I'm sorry polarity probe in the last video we're gonna talk more about the things that diodes can do since diodes are one-way gates as just a little refresher course for you here there is our diode symbol this is the anode this is the cathode if you want to think about it this is the positive that is the negative and electricity will only flow in that direction unless and until you reach the breakdown voltage of the diode but we're not getting into that we're simply talking about in normal circumstances so basically our diode is a one-way valve And we can take advantage of that to change AC voltage from DC voltage and also to create a voltage doubler or a voltage tripler or a voltage quadrupler or let's just call it a voltage multiplier to boost our voltage up. So what I'm going to show you here are two very simple voltage doublers using diodes okay this is our first one and this is what's called a conventional voltage doubler and it looks like this pardon me I have you would think by now I'd be able to talk and uh, draw at the same time but I really haven't been teaching all that long so it's not a skill that I have completely mastered as of yet okay so this is our AC input here and this is our DC output so whatever our VN is what we'll get here is 2 VN it's a basic voltage doubler this is like again I said the conventional now what I prefer is what is called a cascade voltage doubler I find it to be simpler and more effective and it looks like this you'll notice so far it looks very similar and it will continue to look very similar the only thing that we are going to do is we are going to replace that diode I mean that, oh man we are moving this capacitor from here over to here so you see we have C1 here C2 here when before we had C1 C2 D1 D2 D1 and D2 so this is the cascade voltage doubler it's the VX2 new from Ronco get your pocket fisherman and your cascade voltage doubler all right so now for a slight demonstration of the cascade voltage doubler I use my Ronco creative circuit to whip it up right here now we are using 22 microfarad 50 volt electrolytic capacitors and we are using 1N 4007 diodes now what you need to notice is the polarity of our capacitors 
the negative of C1 is facing our input. The negative of C2 is facing our negative output. And again, you must also notice the polarity of the diodes, the, cath the, the anode of D1 is right here to our ground, and the cathode of D2 is going up here to the positive. So, for our demonstration, let's start out by bringing in a meter. We'll put it on voltage, AC voltage, and then we're going to bring in the transformer here. Now this is an unregulated transformer, 120 volts, 60 hertz, output about 12 volts. It can jump up to 15, 18 volts from the Zongging Electronic Factory of Shenzhen. So, you know, when you're talking the Zhongging Electronic Factory, you're talking quality right there. I'm going to clip Let's zoom out a little bit so everybody can see, not just the folks in the front row. All right. So, we've got our probes on there. We're in AC mode. I'm going to power up the transformer. And it's showing us 14 volts AC RMS. If you're unfamiliar with RMS, that's root mean square. So if you take our 14 and multiply it by approximately 1.4, you will get the actual output voltage. Keep that in mind. So let's unplug the transformer. You always want to unplug anything connected to the AC circuit before you mess with it. Just so that you keep breathing and your heart keeps beating. So now we will plug our transformer into the input of our voltage doubler. And it makes absolutely no difference what direction we plug anything in here because we're dealing with AC current. So one leg goes into the negative side of uh, electrolytic capacitor C1. The other side goes into our negative ground rail. And I'm going to bring in the meter. And this time it will be in DC mode. And I will connect the probes up here. All right, everything is connected. Everything is copacetic. It's showing us what? 30 volts is left over in that circuit from when I mocked it up. And we plug in our, capa or our transformer, and you see we are getting 38.1 volts DC out. So we've actually more than doubled our input. It's very important if you're doing a circuit like this, the capacitors you use are at least 25% over the doubled voltage that you're, inspect, you're expecting, otherwise things could go boom. And that's never good. Not good for you, not good for me, not good for anybody. So I said I'd show you some more. Let's move this out of the way and just, I wanna hit on one last thing real quick before I let you go. I don't like to keep you guys too long. I know you have lives. So that's our voltage doubler. Well, what happens if we take basically the same circuit and we go a little something like this? Boom. Boom. A boom. 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 
Boom. Boom. One, two, three, and four. Like this. And then we bring in a capacitor here. And part of my drawing is a little bit off. We go a little something like that there. And then here, we're going to go over here to here. And where we came back in right here, we need to have one more. And these are our two inputs. We will now have the X4, a voltage quadrupler. You see we've doubled our capacitors, we've doubled our diodes. And then you can even go one step further. And give it one of these jobs. This is just a voltage multiplier circuit, and you just keep adding in capacitors and diodes as you go along. Boom, boom, boom. Each one of these legs charges up the capacitors. C1 plus C2 plus C3, etc., etc., etc. Folks, be careful when you're playing with these. These can create some seriously high voltages that will make you pee your pants. I shit you not. That's it. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Please check out the Patreon page and consider becoming a sponsor of this channel. I'm out. Peace.